Welcome to today's vlog guys. I am in Goa, India and as you can see it's pretty obvious this American, this Hispanic American, whatever you want to call me, needs a haircut. I haven't had time to get one. The reality is that I've been busy exploring a lot and making a lot of food vlogs and different types of vlogs and I've forgotten to get a haircut. But now, it's a priority. I'm gonna find a place here to get a haircut. I'm not really picky. It could be on the side of the street or it can be a barber shop, so I don't really care. All right guys, I think I found my spot. Now this is what I look like. I look for it to say like, just like for men. And I look for these type of football hairstyles. So this looks like a good place. It looks nice. Let's see the price. Maybe they're gonna try and rip me off. Maybe they're not. Let's go in there and check it out. Hello. How much for a haircut? How much for a haircut? 200 rupees? Yes. All right, that sounds fair to me. All right, he's charging me 200 rupees. That sounds fair enough right off the bat, so time to get this haircut. All right, normally what I do is I show them a picture, so I want that haircut right there. So let's go for it. All right, guys. My first haircut in India is commencing. I'm gonna try and be as still as I possibly can because I don't want him to mess up. Maybe it's already annoying enough that I have the camera and I'm just talking here. Oh, it has started. Once it begins, there's no going back. It's almost like a tattoo. I just hope he does a good job. I have faith in my barber. By the way, guys, in case you're wondering, my wife slash mom is over there watching. She's getting her mommy training in, taking the boy to get her hair cut. In this case, she accompanied me. Anyways, let's see how good this haircut comes out. I'm, I'm curious, you know? It's been over a year since I've been backpacking and I left the US and in each country it's always something to look for a, a barber. Back in Miami, I only had one barber and I had him for like about five years and before him I had a barber for 10 years. The same guy cutting me all the time. I wouldn't let anybody else touch my head. Now, every few weeks, somebody new gives me a haircut and I just roll the dice and leave it up to chance. So let's see how this haircut comes out. Let's get a little closer look there. It's a transformation, guys. Like After he cuts all this, uh, I might look different. I'm debating the beard. I'm going to keep the beard. I'm just going to have it trimmed. Oh. I got these highlights in the Philippines. Very, very cheap. They did this for about $3. So I was like, all right, why not? Let me do it. But I think they might come out now because my hair is very, very long. Maybe I'll get more highlights here. $3 highlights in the Philippines. Excellent barbers in the Philippines, by the way. I give my hats off to them. They are really, really good at cutting hair. All right, he cut the side there. He's doing the other side. At this point, I look like I have a mushroom haircut or a soup bowl, whatever you want to call it. Like literally, somebody put a bowl on top of my head and just shaved around it. It's the, the worst part of the haircut. But things start to always look better more towards the end. Oh, now we have some more customers coming in. Oh, this guy also has highlights like me. Take a look. Not bad, I'm not alone. He's also a barber. I'm not getting my hair cut alone. Hello, sir. Doesn't want to talk. Oh, we have more barbers coming in. That guy looks like he just woke up. Mm. Huh? Oh, you want to see the picture again? Let's have a look at the picture. It's okay. All right. I think you guys just saw my phone password. It's all right. You have to have my phone first in order to be able to access it. It's always in my pocket. Always. 
Uh, he's brushing me with this this big brush. It's huge. It's like to groom a bear. Have a look. Alright, now he shaved the sides. Now it's the scissor work. This is where real barbers come in. By the way, I can see Sophie in the mirror just looking at me. Just like a mom. That is point one. Point two, they resort to lies. She just chuckled. Now she's looking again. Alright, let's see what he's doing. I, I like with the camera because it has this little flip screen and I get to see exactly what's going on. Alright, suit bowl status right now. This is the bad part. Perception management in Pakistan. Will that great media of Pakistan actually question their army? What happened to the two F-16 pilots of theirs? Do their lives not matter? Northern Light Infantry lives did not matter. Oh, you guys can probably hear the news in the back with the news about the pilot. You gotta get him back. Hoping for no war, just love. Peace and love. How did two of their F-16 pilots die? Where are their F-16 pilots? Very true, very true, Golov. Baby, you wanna record? He's like cutting the back. Alright guys, so I have Sophie with me as the assistant in this, the production of this film. There she goes. She's gonna record the back part. How's it going? Where's the part? It's going. I look like I have a, a mushroom haircut right now. He looks like a John Dark. Which is and if you don't know who is she, right just Google it. Jeanne Dark. I don't even understand what you're saying. It's a French reference. In terms of perception management, Pakistan appears to have had an upper hand until tonight. Where please the others are standing a few feet away from them. Uh, the Indian Air Force pilot has been handed over to Indian High Commission officials. So he's technically still on Pakistani soil. And in a short while from the beginning, he's going to it's okay. Uh, you know, All right. One. I like it. Okay, so, so that's an interesting new update oh. there, Preeti. You're saying that uh, the evening the Nawaz will take place after which the formalities will be completed. A little bit of a confusion of whether you can handle All right, cool. the Indian authorities. Uh, high that's something very important to do, guys. Uh, or not. You know, it's a good shop the when they're using new blades. It's a must. Uh, officials, those uh, no, he's gonna cut. policemen and the paramilitary officials. You don't feel this part at all, all on their if you have a good barber. All but you have to stand very still. We are about when exactly Wing Commander Abhinandan uh, is actually going to cross over. But this is a significant update. This is a significant update that uh, the namaz that uh, starts at 7 pm, about half hour from now, uh, that will take some time. And after that, the formalities, the final formalities will be tied up, and then Abhinandan. Uh, will actually cross over. Precision cutting. Day. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. It's been a long wait. Uh, but this is by no means a simple story. It's not a simple issue uh, at all. You know, I'm sitting here in the studio, but my rep our, our reporters, Indian based reporters, are out there. Uh, Preeti and Anand at the Atari Wagga border. Guys, Sophie Shindana keeps looking at me so creepy right now. The country who would be bringing us reactions whenever we come under. It's like a mom look like she's like looking like, what are they doing to my boy? Oh my god, I usually come along. I imagine that Pinky says there are lots of bits of mixed messages that are coming in right now. Like I said, that's a position curve, oh, but I like it. He did a nice curve there, guys. I don't know if you can see. I'll get you a little bit closer in just a moment. He's doing a nice job with this position cut. Each barber has their own technique. I like his. I like it. Have a look at that curve. Alright, he's brushing me off with the the hand broom. What's coming next? I like the fading so far. It's coming out pretty good. Back to the scissors. I think it's the part that he's gonna take some off the top. Alright, new customer just walked in. He needs a beer trim. Wow, I literally just woke up, guys. I took an afternoon nap. This video is taking place after we arrived in Goa on our nightmare luxury bus. Yeah, I need a beer trim too. 
Barber looks very focused. I like that. Focus on making a good clean cut. In case you were wondering. Mom is still there. And now he's beginning to cut the back. Eventually he'll make his way to the top and remove the soup bowl. Alright guys, first step is done. Now he has to just take off from the top. Look at that, I like it though. I like it so far. Say bye bye to the golden tips. Okay. Um, no, more. Like, let me see. Like, look like here maybe. Yeah, like very short. Very yeah, small hair. This. Yeah, even more. Like, I'll just show you a picture. Look. All right, guys. I'm getting an overdose of typhoid on my head right now. In case you're wondering, I got the vaccine, so it's okay. At least it didn't go in my eyes. It's the most important. Right, here we go. Get up close and personal. This is the point of no return. Next. It's funny how all the hair just goes to the center. It's weird. I would like to speak to him a lot more, but it's a bit hard at the moment. I need to learn some more Hindi. We're almost getting there. Look at that, guys. I don't know what he's doing right now, but it feels nice. I still have some golden tips. Let me just show you around. This is the mirror. This is where the blades go inside that milky solution. I'm not sure what that is. He's a plain Joe. Okay. All right, man. Thank you. And I need the beer, please. Yeah. All right. So interesting. I ended up with a come over. If you saw the pick, it was spiked up. But I could just do that myself. The hand broom, hand brush. Maybe maybe it's too big to be a hand brush. All the hair off me. Look, there's hair everywhere, guys. Oof. All right. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Oh, back on it goes. That machine is like to get all the small hairs. But now there's beard and it needs to go. Something needs to be done. Yeah, beard tape and, and trim. Trim. Trim, yeah. This. Yeah, trim, yeah. I hope that came out right. Typhoid water has just been sprayed all over the blade. Oh, now he's getting a new blade now. I like it, new blade for everything. No chances. <coughs> it's a nice barber shop. Renaissance hair and beauty. Renaissance hair and what? Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. I don't want to talk too much because I don't want him to mess up. 
question that I gave out with So close for comfort. He has grabbed the other guy's scissors. And now he is trimming the beard. With scissors. Hey right, guys, this is the part that he's trimming the beard. It's a very important part because there's no going back. If it gets trimmed too much, there's no going back until a week or so. So it has to be done just right. I have good faith. This guy good. This guy has good hair. Oh, there we go with the hand boom. Okay, it covers half my face. Oh, we have a mirror. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. By the way, he just brought a mirror there to show. All right. That's about the good side, that's a good measurement. Not to do the rest of it like that. Bye bye Santa Claus. Maybe that's the owner behind me. He's watching. Now he's doing the other side. How long have you been cutting hair for? <laughs> How long you cut hair for? How many years? Uh, uh, yeah. How, how long you cut hair? Five, ten years? Many. Only six years. Six years old. You cut hair good, man. I like it. <laughs> good job, bro. Right, he's been cutting hair for six years. And your name? Amjad Ali. Amjad Ali. My name is Volpe. Carlos Volpe. If you've been watching my mall videos, I've been having to play like a secret agent role. Because they don't allow me to film. But here at the barbershop, I'm allowed to film. I ask for permission. And it's perfectly fine. I must say, the guy next to me has a very impressive beard. Maybe this can be the thumbnail. We'll see. They're coming along good. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, I was blocking the mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's my favorite style. It's your favorite style? I like it. What do you guys think? Yes. <laughs> this side. Cut. Yes. Please. Yes. This? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Straight. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna cut the bottom part of my beard. Oh, typhoid over dosage level <laughs> 100. All right, so I just applied like some soap. All right, shaving cream is on. I smell it right away. It makes all the difference though.
Yeah. Yeah. Mom is still there. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just about done. I'm just getting the final brush from the hand room. And we shall be on our way. I like it bro. I like it. Very nice. Alright, how much? 350. Right. It's at 200, but I think with the beard it goes up an extra 150. So, alright. Not bad, guys. What do you think? Alright, guys. So, 350. I gave him a tip, so it's like $5 haircut or something like that, including the beard, you know. Just the haircut alone is about 290. But not bad for my first haircut here in India. You can see all these lights and whatnot around me is because Carnival is tomorrow. So don't be surprised by the time this video gets uploaded, Carnival is over and you'll probably have an overdosage of Carnival vlogs. But anyways, all right, here's the liquor. So all right, guys, the vlog is over. That was my haircut here in India. I liked it, I enjoyed it. It's funny though, I told him to spike my hair up. The picture I showed him has spiky hair and he decides to give me the comb over. But it's supposed to look something more like that. You know. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one.